hello there welcome back so now you know how to create gray blur and sepia effect using css image filters so now in this model we are going to take a look at how to create invert effect okay so for that let's uh, go to our editor and let's create a page that call invert dot html and go to blur copy it and paste it in invert okay and let's change this class name to invert okay and let's go back to our css file so as you can see this is css and now add here invert page okay and here let's add our class that is invert on images and here apply a filter called invert and invert actually you can use a decimal point to uh, use it okay so one means fully inverted and zero means normal image okay so let's make it fully inverted let's invert and one for webkit and one for moz okay and now let's check how it's look okay put in uh, go to invert html and click here for live preview oh you see that's it's fully inverted so it's look really nice okay <laughs> you see this is fully inverted so let's back to our editor and go to our style page and let's make it normal on hover so go here hover hover and make it zero okay and now visit here and you can see wow this is really awesome okay so what if you just manipulate values like let's see manipulate it to point um, eight okay and it's going to 80 percent inverted see this is really awesome well you can create a cool effect okay so this is really awesome <laughs> so this is how you create invert effect okay so let's get back to our editor and make it 100 percent okay and repeat the same step and add here okay so let's copy it first of all i'm going to use print screen and the same process here ms paint okay and paste it here crop it go back crop resize it to 60 percent 60 okay and go to here and save it it's invert okay close it and now get back to editor and here we go invert so just copy it paste it here okay and here is invert this is also invert and here is also invert okay now copy it Now copy it by pressing Control C. Go to Blur. Go here. Paste it. Save it. Go Sepia. Go here. Paste it. Save it. Go to Grayscale. Paste it. Save it. Okay. So now it's done. Okay. So just go to here, and you can see. Click Sepia. Gray. Blur. You can see this is blur, sepia, not sepia, and invert. So now it is going to be invert. Okay. So really, this is so awesome. So thank you so much, and see you in the next model.